while those cupcakes are in the oven, it's only, a, only 18 minutes, I am going to clean up. That is plenty of time to wash all of these dishes, dry them, put them away, and put away all of my ingredients. So let's get going. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why is she doing dishes in tubs away from her sink when she has a perfectly fine sink and a dishwasher? Well, that's a very good question. Here in the food science classroom, we do a lot of dishes and we don't have dishwashers and our kitchens are really tiny and we just don't have room for people to be cleaning the kitchen and doing dishes and other things all at once. So sometimes we do dishes at a wash station somewhere else in the classroom. Here's what you will need to set that up. Your dirty dishes need to be rinsed ahead of time. You need about one to two pumps of soap, hot water, make sure it's bubbly, and you need a clean wash rag. You also need a clean tub of rinse water and a drain rack with a mat underneath it. You'll also need a clean towel for drying the dishes. So I also want to teach you that it is possible to wash dishes with using hardly any water. Frequently, people turn on the water and they leave it running the whole time they're doing dishes. That's really, really wasteful. So let's try to practice good conservation and not waste our resources. So I'm gonna start, it's very simple. If I had a partner, they could be taking care of the rinsing, someone else can be doing the drying and someone else will be putting it away. I'm on my own today, but here we go. We're gonna start with this whisk put things down inside of the water and get your hands inside the rag and inside the tines. Your hands are a very good tool here. Make sure you're getting soap on everything. Set it in the rinse water and we're just gonna keep washing. Make sure that you get your rag down inside of the tools, inside and outside. Set it in the rinse water. Use as hot a water as you can stand because hot water helps to dissolve sugar and will make it easier for you to clean them. How much water can you actually save by using the wash tub method? Well, people who wash by hand and keep the water running while they do it spend about two gallons of water per minute. And this batch of dishes took me about six minutes. So that's 12 gallons of water. But in the tub system, you only put about two gallons of water into each tub. So that's four gallons. That's an eight gallon savings. Rinsing. If you're the rinser, just swish your tools around in the water and then set them in the drain rack. The drain rack's important because they, things can air dry as long as you make sure there is air able to circulate between the dishes. Do not stack them. So for example, here's my half cup measure. I wanna scoop it up, get all the soap out of it, set it down in my drain rack. Here's another one. Do not put them inside each other because the air won't be able to circulate and dry them. Make sure that they are upside down in your drain rack so the air can get around them. Of course, your partner is going to dry them for you too. Ooh, this water's hot. Hot, 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 hot. Okay, this bowl, yes, it can be rinsed. Get some water in it, swish it around, and dump it. Do a swish and dump three or four times, and then do the outside. Set it in your drain rack. Okay, here's that greasy liquid measuring cup. As you probably already know, oil and water do not mix. So there's no way 
that you could get the oil out of this using just water. You must use soap. So you have got to make sure that you are getting bubbles on your rag and that it is touching every part of the tool that has any sort of oil in it. What happens is the soap has one end of it that grabs onto the oil and then the other end pulls it away. So we are able to attract the oil to the soap bubbles and get it out. So now I've got this nice and clean. I'm gonna swish and dump several times. I actually learned in college when I was in biology, they told me to swish and dump six times to get all the soap out of my science beakers. I've never tested it, but I believed my professor. So six times and then roll around the outside. Now that our dishes are finished washing, you can dry them directly. Make sure you are using a clean towel. It does no good to dry clean dishes with a dirty towel because bacteria likes to grow in warm, moist places. And that would be kitchen rags, sponges, and damp kitchen towels. So make sure that you use a brand new clean towel or let your dishes air dry. Now, back in the classroom, we don't have the luxury of letting them air dry because the next class is coming in right after you. So make sure you get them completely dry. Do not stack dishes that are still damp because bacteria will grow in them and they'll be nasty. So dry them really well, put them away, and put away your wash tub. I'm gonna very carefully dump this out in the sink and dry it. We don't wanna put wash tubs away that are wet because again, mold and mildew bacteria will grow.